Hello everyone and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we have the normal guys in for one last time this season. Um, Gill's turn to pitch uh, tomorrow. Let me just take a look at how rested they are. They should be all yeah, pretty much good to go. Tomorrow the plan is to have all the AAA guys uh, get through the game tomorrow and have the AAA guys in the lineup as well. So just today and tomorrow, and then we are into the playoffs. But we've got to finish up tangling with the Pirates before then. While this loads, most things in the playoffs are settled now. The National League actually is entirely settled. Um, the Squirrels will play the Marlins in the first round, and the Diamondbacks will play the Cardinals. Um and obviously the Cardinals being the wild card team. In the American League, the Tigers have clinched the AL Central. Uh, the Yankees have a magic number of one over the Orioles. The Orioles holding a one game lead over the White Sox for that wild card spot. The Angels with a one game lead over the Astros gives them a magic number of two, which makes sense since there's two games left in the season. All right. You saw regular guys in. Gil on the mound. Chris Duffy at the plate. First pitch is called a strike. This is going to get down for a leadoff single for the Pirates. That will bring Luis Rivas to the plate. First pitch called a strike. Grounds this one to third, Chief on to second, on to first, not in time there. One away, runner on first for Jack Wilson, who uh, he was having a rough time yesterday. Had to get looked at after hitting one off of his foot, had to get looked at after diving for a ball in the hole at shortstop. Just his body seems pretty banged up. And, uh, oh, I actually thought the... Squirrels would get that double play, but again only gets the out at second. Xavier Nady at the plate, runner on first with two outs, and he will take strike one, and then ground ball to short. This one goes to first, and that'll end the top of the first. Pirates with a hit, but no runs. Kester will lead things off for the Squirrels. Same lineup we've been seeing out of the Pirates. Dan Heron on the mound. Heron winds and delivers the first pitch for strike. This one popped into center field, but it's pretty shallow, but not shallow enough. Duffy makes the grab. I think he was playing him in, too, because he made that much more comfortably than I thought he would. Marvin takes a strike. He's going to bat left-handed for the time being. Fouls this pitch back, 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, it's up to Chief now. Looks at strike one. This one is outside. Too high, makes it two and one. There's a called strike, makes it two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. No score after one. Pittsburgh will send Johnson to the plate to open the second. Johnson did hit a solo home run right down the left field line yesterday. I think that was just about the only thing the Pirates could look at in a positive light. Uh, after that 15 to 2 and even that probably doesn't sell just how much of a blowout that game was. Johnson with a 1 and 2 count in this at bat. And he will go down swinging. But one away. Jeff Bloom at the plate. First pitch. 
Swung on and missed. This pitch is inside. This one into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. One on, one out. Avilas at the plate. First pitch is called a strike. Ground ball towards third. Chief goes to first with it. And the squirrels do get that out. Does move the runner into scoring position for Niger Morgan. Gill only one out away from getting out of the inning. Starts Morgan off with a strike. This one is too high. Gets a ground ball. Gill will field it himself, throw it to first, and will go to the bottom of the second. Pirates with another base runner, but still no runs. Terry will lead things off for the Squirrels in the bottom half of the inning. First pitch to Terry is called a strike. Second pitch is hit a long way, and it is very fair. A 406-foot shot, his 21st home run of the year, which is the team lead, and that will make it a one to nothing Squirrels lead here in the second inning. Right, Frank at the plate will take one inside. This one is pulled foul. One and one. This one misses inside. Two and one. Down and away. Three and one. Fouled back. That'll make it a full count. Base is loaded, nobody, your base is loaded, base is empty. The count's full, the bases definitely are not. In any case, Frank swings and misses. One down, Tom at the plate now. Looks at a strike. Another called strike makes it 0-2. Ground ball, that will be right to Wilson. Two away. That'll bring Zach to the plate. He will look at strike one. Swings and misses, 0-2. Oh Grounds this one to first. Johnson picks it up, steps on the bag. We'll go into the third inning. Squirrels now leading 1-0, and Dan Heron will lead things off for the Pirates. Ground ball to second. Kester throws out Heron. One down. Chris Duffy, who did get a base hit in his first at bat. Looks at this one in the dirt. There's a called strike. Ground ball. Foul just on the wrong side of the first baseline. One and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Rivas at the plate. He ground out in his first step bat. First pitch called a strike, second pitch swung on and missed. This one hit towards second, Kester throws over and that will end the top of the third. One to nothing squirrels, Joey to lead things off in the bottom half of the third. Joey watches that one catch the outside corner. Too high, makes it one and one. Some pulled foul. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Gill at the plate. 
swings and misses. Another swing and a miss. Makes it 0-2. This one is outside. Down and away. Makes it 2-2. Two and two. This one misses high. Full count. Nobody on base. One out. And that's going to be a walk. Runner on first with one out. Kester at the plate. Flew out to center his first time up. Looks at strike one here. Swing and a miss. Makes it 0-2. And, and this one in the dirt. Heron tries it again. This one called strike three. Two down. Marvin at the plate. He struck out swinging. One of five strikeouts today so far for Dan Heron. It's Marvin takes strike one and then grounds this one to first. Johnson steps on the bag and ends the inning. We'll go into the fourth inning. Squirrel still ahead. one nothing. Jack Wilson coming to the plate for Pittsburgh. First pitch to Wilson is called a strike. Swing and a miss. Makes it 0-2. This one fouled away. It's still 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Nady at the plate. This pitch goes too high. Another... Well, not another. First called strike in this at bat. Now I can say another called strike. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Strikeout numbers going up sharply for Gill this time through the order. Already has added, I think, three this time through. Now on the fifth batter. Johnson's going to ground out to third, and that will end the top of the fourth. Chief coming to the plate to open the bottom of the fourth inning for the Squirrels, who lead one to nothing. Chief struck out in his first at bat. That curveball in the dirt. This one's outside. 2 0. Swing and a miss. Makes it 2 and 1. That's going to be a line drive into right center, and that's going to roll past the outfield, so Chief is going to cruise on into second base with a leadoff double. Only the second hit today for the Squirrels, though it does help when the first hit went over the fence. Terry at the plate. And he's the one that hit it over the fence in his first at bat. Watches that curveball go outside. Hits this one, and it's going to be a base hit into left field. Chief's going to try to score on it. Throw not in time. Two to nothing, Squirrels. And that also allows Terry to move up to second base. Frank at the plate with nobody out. He'll go ground out to second. They try to back pick Terry, but no luck there. Do get Frank at first. One down, runner in scoring position for Tom, who will take strike one. Too low. In the dirt again. Two and one. Hits this one, and it'll be right to Revis at second. They get the out at first. Terry moves on up to third base, but there are two outs now for Zach. So he'll probably need to get a hit if he wants to drive that run in. Unless they throw a wild pitch or something. Instead, a ground ball to third, and that will end the inning. We move into the fifth. Squirrels now ahead two to nothing. Jeff Bloom will lead things off for Pittsburgh. First pitch is called a strike. This one is inside. Misses again, two and one. 
called strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. A one down, Avila set the plate. Ground out and his first stab bat. First pitch is called a strike. This pitch breaks inside. Swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Called, strike three, up in the zone. Two down, Niger Morgan, also ground out in his first stab bat. This pitch is down and away. This one catches the outside corner. One and one. Another outside corner pitch, one and two. Goes with the sinker and gets a swing and a miss to end the top of the fifth inning. We've hit the halfway point. Squirrels leading 2 0. Joey will lead things off for Indianapolis. Joey looks at strike one. Swings and misses. 0 oh 2. Called strike three. Gill at the plate drew a walk in his first plate appearance. Hits this one, a ground ball that will be a little bit of a deep throw for Wilson, but nothing he can't handle. Two away. Kester 0 for 2 today. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Hits this one up the middle. That'll be his first hit of the day. One on, two outs. Marvin, also 0 for 2 so far. Kester takes off, and I think he picked a good pitch to do it. Steals second easily. So runner in scoring position now. And Marvin has a 2-0 count. Strike right down the middle. Marvin's taking all the way. This one catches the outside corner. Suddenly 2-2. Two and two. This one bounces in. Full count, two outs, but runner on second. Swing and a miss, strike three. We will move into the sixth inning. Still a two to nothing Squirrels lead. Dan Heron scheduled to lead off things for the Pirates in the sixth. It does look like he's gonna get the chance to hit. The pitch is too low. up and away. There's a called strike. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. This one down and away. We got a full count. Called strike three. One down. Duffy one for two so far. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Ground ball towards second. Kester will take care of that. Two down. Rivas at the plate. He's ground out in both at-bats so far today. First pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. This one is too high. Revis lays off. Called strike three. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Still a two to nothing Squirrels lead and Chief due to lead off. Chief one for two. Got a double in his last at bat. Looks at strike one here. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Terry at the plate now. He is two for two with a homer and credited with a double. Really should have been a single, but in any case, still batting a thousand for the day, and has driven in both squirrels' runs. 
Has a one and one count at the moment. Fouls this pitch away. Right by the squirrel's dugout. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Frank at the plate now. He's 0 for 2. Looks at a strike. Another called strike. Foul tip. That'll be strike three. We move into the seventh inning. Still a 2 to nothing Squirrels lead. Jack Wilson due up, though we will go get Gonzalez to start pitching this inning just as soon as we can. There we go. All right, first pitch from Gonzalez is ground towards the middle. Joey will grab it and throw to first. One down. Xavier Nady, 0 for 2 on the day. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses, 0 and 2. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Johnson at the plate. He swings and misses at the first pitch. This pitch misses low, probably inside as well. Swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Just misses inside, two and two. Fouled away, still two and two. one up and out. Johnson doesn't go for it. This one ground to shortstop. Joey has to charge it but gets it over to first in plenty of time. We've reached a seventh inning stretch. Squirrels up two to nothing and Tom will lead off on the other side. <laughs> Tom at the plate, Dan Heron still on the mound. One and one the count. Swing and a miss, two and two on Tom. Swing and a miss, strike three. Zach has ground out twice today. First pitch is called a strike. Ooh, I don't like that call. One and two the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. All right, Joey at the plate. He'll look at a strike. This one misses outside. Popped foul, but it's going to make the screen. One and two. This one is too low. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. We'll move on into the eighth inning. Still a two to nothing Squirrels lead. Jeff Bloom is due to lead off things for the Pirates. We'll see Hermita for what should be the last time this regular season.
All right, Bloom one for two today. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch. And fouls that one away. So it misses low. Swings and misses, strike three. One down, Avilas at the plate. He's 0 for 2. That pitch misses outside. Called strike right down the middle. Fouled back, 1 and 2. Ground ball. Hermita went after it himself, but it's out of his range. Joey grabs it instead. Two down. Niger Morgan 0 for 2 today. First pitch misses. Second pitch misses. Throwing a lot of curveballs today. Feeling more than normal. Gets that one over for a strike. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle for one of the fastest men in the majors. Pitcher spot due up, and it looks like we are going to get a pinch. Well, Niger Morgan's only rated a speed 5 in this game. I don't think they actually saw him play. Well, Colaspo gets to move to second base because Hermita put that one through the 5 hole on Tom. Dan Heron is hitting for himself, has a 1-1 one one count. Make it 1-2 after that swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, strike three. I guess I don't tell the Pirates how to run their team, but it was only a two-run game. Pitcher spot due up for the Squirrels. Still with a two-to-nothing lead. Hampson is going to come in to play left field. We will put Whiteman in there to hit. He should end his September hitting over 500. Pretty impressive stuff. First pitch is called a strike. Ground ball to second. One away. Kester, one for three on the day. Got a hit in his last at bat. High hop back to Heron. Two down. Marvin is 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts. First pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss. Makes it 0 and 2. Hits this one. This could be a home run. And it is off the foul pole, 367 feet, his fourth of the year. I'm pretty sure a career high for him. Snuck that one in right under the wire in the eighth inning of the last game he's going to play in. So three to nothing, Squirrels. Base is empty with two outs. Chief takes a ball. There's a called strike. Another called strike. This one pulled foul. Swing and a miss, strike three. All right, we'll move into the ninth inning. Three to nothing, Squirrels. Chris Duffy will lead things off for Pittsburgh. All right, Shibuya in to get one last save on the year. Should be a pretty low stress one, but he always seems to do just enough. Chris Duffy, one for three so far. First pitch is out of the zone. Here's a called strike. Ground ball to first. It will stay fair. Terry steps on the bag. Probably could have gotten a tag out too, but he went for the bag. Luis Rivas at the plate. He's 0 for 3 today. 
Watch as that one stay low. Ground ball to second. Kester takes care of that. Jack Wilson to the plate. He's 0 for 3. First pitch is a ball. Swing and a miss. Makes it 1 and 1. Ground ball towards the middle. Shibuya knocks it down, but uh, gets stunned in the process. It's going to go down as an infield hit. Shibuya seems to be okay. Throws to Xavier Nady. First pitch is a strike. This one is too low. Line drive into right field. That's a base hit. Brings a tying run to the plate. Well, Wilson took maybe an unnecessary risk getting to third. Johnson at the plate. I will remind you he did homer yesterday. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses, but the pitch gets away. Does let the Pirates score a run. Three to one now. This one hit towards third. Chief on the short hop throws to first, and that is the ball game. A little bit of excitement there in the ninth, but your final score today, Pittsburgh Pirates 1, Indianapolis Squirrels 3. Take a look at some highlights. Gil is going to be your player of the game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Otherwise, game 162 tomorrow right here against these same Pirates. We will see you then.